Hey guys, super quick, make sure you subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of our new videos. Everybody. Welcome back to the St. Louis Car Museum. I'm Ian, and today we're featuring this 1957 Lincoln Continental Mark II hardtop sedan. Now, this Continental is finished in a medium gray metallic. It has a light gray and a dark gray leather interior. It has a 368 cubic inch V8 engine, an automatic transmission, and 68,000 miles on the odometer. This is a beautifully kept Mark II surviving from the original long-term rust-free California owner. Listed in Mark II registry as one of only nine 1957 examples finished in this stunning co color combination. Updated 1957 models offered refinements to the engine for extra power and torque. A splendid car factory appointed with air conditioning and showing just 68,000 miles. The Lincoln Automobile Company had made great strides to identify itself as a premier luxury brand through the 1920s and 1930s. After World War II, most manufacturers eagerly pursued new innovations and designs to regain the vast share of a booming American economy. As the 1950s era rolled in, also did automobiles with sleeker body lines, more powerful engines, electronic accessories, and much larger price tags. With Cadillac arguably being the front runner on luxury car lists, Lincoln set forth to outdo the impressive top of the line Eldorado with a complete redesign utilizing their luxury Continental division. They featured, they featured terrific long and low body aesthetics with build qualities second to none. During production, all body panels were fully test fitted and perfected before being painted with a superb lacquer finish. Only the best materials available would be selected to adorn the interior. Along with fully featured power accessories, each car would have to pass through 14 quality control stations during assembly, with each one road tested before delivery. The only available option would be factory fitted trunk mounted air conditioning, appropriately named the Continental Mark II. Just 3,014 units would be produced during a two-year production run, of which only 444 units were produced for the 1957 before Ford Motor Company would close the Continental for obvious cost reasons. Each Mark II carried an astounding price tag of over $10,000 when equipped with air conditioning. With Continental's obsession to make the finest car on the road, it would quickly attract buyers from all around to own such an exclusive automobile. Some of the most famous owners would include Frank Sinatra, Dwight Eisenhower, Elvis Presley, Howard Johnson, Nelson Rockefeller, and many more. Hey guys, super quick. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you like rare cars, you're going to love the rest of our social medias too. So give those a follow, and uh, I'll see you next time.